Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing OP USSR and we're going to invade Germany. In our last episode, I invaded Romania, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, and Poland all simultaneously using Credfield's method of justifying against Yugoslavia, justifying against Poland, canceling the justification on Yugoslavia, and then re-justifying on Yugoslavia. This gives you two war goals pretty close together where you can get all those countries involved in the same war. And the allies, unfortunately, came into play the last playthrough. So they joined the war. They were joined... They're brought into the war by Czechoslovakia, and it was super annoying. Um, so this is a save that I had prepared. Uh, the main difference with this save is I actually built transport planes, and I think that this was instrumental in kind of getting my armored spearheads going. If you see those red jerry cans by your divisions, they just don't attack or do very well in combat at all. Um, what I need to do is actually add in some, let's add in logistics companies and engineer companies to our tank divisions as well as motorized recon. Wow, we got a lot. And our tank companies are 18 width. That should go pretty well. We have two cavalry armies that are 10 width. I'm a little concerned about the purge. I actually did have to click on one of these political paranoia events and decisions uh, because the paranoia is increasing very quickly. Uh, let me show you what we're doing with our doctrine here. So we went all the way down to war economy. And then I think I made the mistake of going heavy, heavy industry and infrastructure effort. I think I would have rather had war heroes and patriarch of all Russia because this gives stability 10% and war heroes is going to upgrade Konev, Rokossovsky up to field marshal and that'll give us the extra attack stat so war heroes is very crucial i manually justified against the german reich uh this was most likely a mistake on my part i should have waited the better way for you to get into a war with germany would be a defensive war where germany attacks you by demanding sudetenland it didn't happen i only have till june 30th until i have to declare war or suffer the consequences so hopefully germany in the next few days like 10 days uh, declares war on me, but I don't think that it's going to happen. What we're going to do here is just allow that equipment to get filtered into the divisions here. And we just got interwar artillery. Uh, we're going for the second level of radios, improved radios, so that we can add that to our tank. And I'm wondering now if we shouldn't go for... So we could go for the improved. Uh, we can't because we're using light tanks. Never mind. Let's see what gun we could put on our light tanks. So we're using the close support gun. I think we could use the improved automatic cannon. Soft attack 20. Uh, soft attack is 25 with that one. And basic high velocity cannon is going to be no better. So I don't think that we're going to be able to improve the cannon unless. Yeah, we can't put a medium cannon on that. It does not look like there's a better gun available to us. So we're just going to have to improve soft attack on our tanks in other ways. Let's check out how we built the tank here. We already got one of our rail guns out. It's right there. And um, our tank is looking pretty good. We need to upgrade the turret to a three-man turret. That increases the breakthrough. Our reliability on these tanks is not that great. 
Let's see if there's any other way of improving reliability. Doesn't look like it. We should have the Christie suspension already. We do. If we add armor, it's going to decrease reliability, so that's not going to be good. And then if I add... Oh, we can add machine guns, and that's going to improve our soft attack. So let's go ahead with that. It also improved our defense. So we'll make those adjustments. Three man turret and two machine guns added. Put that tank into production. We took a little production efficiency hit. We're getting the second rail gun out. This is how my production is as of now. And our industry is really doing well. I think we're going to have to catch up on support equipment. Let's do one on support equipment, one on artillery, and then five more on light tanks. We're going to have to outproduce the Germans in that regard. We're also going to have to outproduce on trucks. Let's go with that. And our research slot. Um, still got to get this pesky research slot. Let's go with advanced machine tools. That's always good. Hopefully this won't last a year, this war. And um, let's wait till this rainstorm calms down, maybe. It doesn't look like it's calming down. Okay, we're just going to justify. Third five-year plan disrupted with the current attack on the motherland. It is clear that our previous plans for economic growth are no longer feasible. We may return to them once peace has been restored. But for now, we must focus on military production. Okay, and the trick here is you, you might want to take this out first. But that's, that's not going to be advantageous for you. What you need to do is basically attack the Konigsberg area over here and take this bubble out first. You don't want the enemy to get behind you. The other thing that we could do is probably... Let's save... Actually, no. Let's save our Navy here. But let's put up some convoy rating just in case the Germans try to be tricky. And we'll put a strike force out in that area and actually give them a commander, Golovko. And give him like concealment expert with smoke screens. And we shouldn't really have to worry about Navy too much. We'll keep the Germans busy in here and maybe bring the subs out if they start to cycle across the ports here. Okay, that needs to be turned on. And we're down to six uh, tank divisions, one motorized division, two armies of infantry, and two armies of cavalry. Templates... Our 10 width cavalry, the basic um, 18 width infantry, I did not go with AA, so that might bite us in the butt. We still just have uh, the support artillery, and we've got our OP railgun right here. So let's see how we do. So Italy has joined Germany, and I have... When we capped Yugoslavia, what I did was create two puppet states here so that Italy couldn't attack into me. And if they try to get tricky, I've got backup divisions right there. You can also puppet off Montenegro. I'd probably do that if I had to do this over again. So this is a fairly intricate build where we're chaining things together. Uh, so you just, you're just going to have to bear with me here. Okay, so Germany's, I think, only going to get Italy into the war here, which is fine. We still kind of have to worry about the purge, and unfortunately, if things get too bad with political paranoia, we're going to have to then switch to the military conspiracy and start going down through here to further complete the purge. 
This purge will not be avoid avoidable. Political paranoia increases by 30, 25 political power. And then this is where we're going to lose uh, Tukachevsky and Primakov. So hopefully we can get Konigsberg area by then. We'll see what happens. Let's halt these guys and just do like support attacks, maybe. See if we can get the tanks into this attack here. There we go. Perfect. Let's see, is the air still bugged? No, we can see this. Perfect. Uh, let's focus all of our air over here. The Germans are trying to hold out in Konigsberg area. There we go. But we need to collapse and encircle all these troops. And look at three tank divisions. If we can get all three of those tank divisions, that's going to be very important. Oh, wow. They're pushing us out in this area. That's actually going to be helpful for encirclement if we can get past these divisions. And man, they are pushing deep into Poland here, having a little bit of supply issues. Oh, it'd be sweet if we got an encirclement over here in Breslau. Looks like we're just going to beat him back, though. And I do have supply planes up in this area. And we have five of them. So we can keep that on our armored spearhead. And they're really not bombing in Czechoslovakia. Actually, let's have him go over here. And micro all this stuff, per usual, with no step back. Okay, so Chibasov accused of treason. We're not using him, so that's fine. So the when they get cowed by... Stalin, it seems to be like more of like a random event. We really need a tile here, boys. This is getting bad. Maybe I should just push with the uh, cav. Wow, they have a thousand fighters up. Let's just keep these guys going, see if we can't deorg them. And we're beating him back over here. They had a really strong initial push. And we're deorging him over here by Danzig area. Boom! We got the breakthrough that we needed. Let's get to Konigsberg as quickly as possible. Very important to keep the attacks up. Do your pause mic rowing. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is uh, my military staff. We have division speed 10%. We have Vershinin, uh, Air Superiority 10%, Rokosovsky, of course, Konev, and Vas Vasilevsky. Division recovery rate, 8%. So that's all important, as well as Kalanin. We did not go free trade because you start off with expert focus now. And War Economy, we got through Focus Tree. So that was nice. I haven't upgraded our Conscription Law yet. And let's keep this attack going. See what we can get. Cannot move the rail gun up yet. And we're beating him back with this uh, mix of cavalry infantry army over here. They're folding pretty nicely. So if we can get all these units encircled, that would be amazing. I don't see anyone 
escaping yet? We gotta get Konigsberg area. Okay, so they're already trying to get out. Let's try to put our subs over. Maybe pick them off as they go. And let's go over here. See if this doesn't help out. I've got my strategic bombers on a pilot exercise mission and it looks like we can upgrade nothing yet. Nothing that I want to upgrade as of yet. Is there anything like cheeky here that we can do? Academy scholarships. Panzer leader trait. Eh, a little late in the game for that. A little late in the game for that. Okay. That's upgraded. Okay, another breakthrough over here. Let's just try to consolidate our breakthrough, maybe even encircle Konigsberg. Oh, their fleet's out. Okay, take him out. Ugh. Get him out of there. We did not want to face the fleet over there. So, oh, they're coming out too, huh? How about you just go back home for a second? We do not need that business. Because we could, if we cap Germany, basically the, the Kriegsmarine is gone. You don't have to worry about them. So there's no point in facing them now. Ooh. Get these guys encircled over here. Perfect. Luxembourg has accepted the offer to join our faction. What? I didn't offer to join their faction. What do they have around? What? Okay, whatever. I can ignore that. Luxembourg is in our faction. Are you crazy? Okay. Well, Germany is going to have fun taking out Luxembourg. It's going to be like a two week war. And these infantry divisions will be able to beat back these uh, light tank divisions. So we have to be very careful here about what we're doing and how we're doing it. Um, okay. Let's have one guy get back, maybe take Sawalki. These guys are going to be in a bad way if we take out the rest of their supply. Okay, we'll go for the better infantry weapons. Ugh. Okay, we lost two convoys. Oh, Germany lost two convoys. Oh, wow. That's pretty significant. So I was one, I'm wondering if they were trying to reinforce Konigsberg or trying to take people out of Konigsberg. Like, how many of these convoys do we get? I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so he's crushing in there. They are out of supply. And we take Sawalki. They should have no more supply left. We lost 5x submarines. It's okay. We can just build more. What's our naval production like? Oh, we can upgrade those light tanks. That'll help quite a bit. Let's get some subs going. Zero naval XP. Interesting. OK, 
okay, how are the spies doing? I always have to sit here and micro the spies. So they're preparing the collaborationist government. The cryptology is going on France. I don't think that the UK is going to come in on the side of the Germans, but you never know. And we're pushing this out. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, ah, we consolidated the pocket. So now, at this point, you might want to move on, but I would advise against that. What we need to do now is consolidate the pocket. Every time I don't consolidate the pocket back here, something really wacky happens. Um, the AI is much improved now. And uh, you get backstabbed. So make sure that you get this under control before you move forward. And it, it goes very quickly. And the thing now with no step back is um, they're actually taking up some supply back here. So when you, you know, completely take them out, um, the supply to the front here actually improves quite a bit. So <laughs> I had been planning on taking out this appendage right here by Salacia. But that doesn't exist anymore. So I think the best thing to do would just be to push up to Berlin right here. So let's take our Panzers and go to Breslau. And go to Lotz to Breslau. And we're going to stay on the west side of the river. We're going to bring a rail gun over there, too. So no use contesting over here anymore. They don't seem concerned with Czechoslovakia. Which is good. Let's get those tax to soften up over here in Eastern Germany. And we'll just kind of beat them back. And after we get Berlin, most of the military factories are going to be housed in Berlin. We'll take uh, Primakov's already, army and just put them into the line here. So he can just maneuver over. Everyone's going to be transported by rail because that's going to be a lot quicker. And if they try, if Germany tries any amphib landings or something, we've got our subs here. So that's kind of nice to have. Okay, war heroes. So we'll get the Patriarch of all Russia and then go the military conspiracy. So the Patriarch of all Russia is going to give us our stability back. Political paranoia is getting quite bad. Um, let's infiltrate the Navy. Let's start doing this stuff. Wow, that stability is pretty bad. So this is going to give us base stability. Patriarch of all Russia is going to give us base stability plus 10. So that'll be awesome. And then I think we need to do a purge in order to kind of figure all this stuff out, decrease the political paranoia and stabilize the country. All while taking out the Germans. Should be a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. They, okay, so they have no one over here. Let's try snaking. And the medium tanks getting beaten back by infantry and cavalry. Is it even viable anymore? I don't know. Okay, let's get these guys involved. As soon as we start having supply troubles, we will micro the planes over there. And it looks like they are interested in destroying Polish infrastructure. Let's micro this. 
Okay, get all this stuff prioritized. I just like the basic infrastructure. You can mainly ignore the rail system. Shouldn't matter too much. And man, the way they got this up here, so they have 400. Okay. We'll just put up 100 over there. It's fine. They're going to start microing that stuff back and forth. It's going to be hard to follow. Okay, let's see what our armored spearhead can accomplish here. We're going to drive straight for Berlin. Okay, he can't move up. What's going to suck is if we outrun a railgun. Oh, overstacked here. No big deal. There we go. Looking good. Maybe this guy can move around. Yeah, we got that encirclement. Nice and juicy. And we are running over the Germans here. This is crazy. Beating them at their own game. I cannot believe this. We need to keep all of our generals until we at least get out uh, Germany. Okay, Konev's got an upgrade. Oh, he's a field marshal now. Okay. So we want him to get offensive doctrine. This is going to really be broken. And we'll give Rokosovsky. So that gives them both 2.5% attack. Oh, and Rokosovsky's got uh, Ranger. So I could use one of them as a field marshal after Tukachevsky gets... Uh, after he gets offed, basically. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I upgraded my fighter. And then I just did it with three reliability, three engine in one range. We could upgrade it again. There is a little more doctrine that we could get, but it's down here with bomber defense plus 25%. We are getting bombed right now. So let's get it just as an insurance policy. Like, uh, we're not strat bombing. So this is really not helping us. Maybe the escort efficiency would... Yeah, it would probably be better to go right. So you snake right, left, left. And hopefully we can get down here during this war. And hopefully the UK doesn't come into the war. I'm eager to get uh, Armored Spearhead because then we can give the tactic of Blitz to Zhukov. Oh, and these guys are low supplied, probably because this guy's behind them. Actually, it doesn't show low supply, just right here. Very interesting. Okay, let's just put up the supply planes. Make sure that air supply is on. Anti-saboteur campaign. It's for the naval stuff. Nice. I love it. Okay, now they're out of supply. Let's check this out here. Like those guys are up there. From airdrops, 0.45. They are getting the airdrops. They, uh, supply planes have been heavily nerfed. As you may or may not know. Okay, let's get these guys going, striking out in different areas. Let's try to broaden the front. That seems to help the supply out quite a bit. Oh. These guys are getting attacked over here. But these guys are deorging. Okay, it looks like they're going to roll that up. Going to think better of that. Let's uh, get these guys driving straight to Moscow. And it is so important to... It would probably be better if I just deleted a tank division. But... 
Don't go more than six tank divisions. That's key. This guy move up. Oh, buddy, if we had that rail gun up there, we would really be doing good. Okay, move up, move up. Can't do it. Okay, you need to get back on the right side of the river. Or actually, you could just stay on this side of the river and maybe cut them off. I don't really have cavalry backing up my armored spearhead, so. Just make sure that these guys get up in a timely fashion. Can you move up at all, brother? I need you so bad. Uh, where does this rail line go? It's kind of cool how you have to worry about the rail lines. Uh, I think our best bet, so if I move the bubble over here. Oh, uh, that looks like a mess, but we're going to go for it. Because I think that these guys would benefit. Uh-oh. Big boys. Oh, wow, he dr super quick. I wonder if it's because of the recon bonus, like what's going on here in some of these bubbles where the tanks, the German tanks are just deorging. OK, so they have the initiative, so they get to pick their tactic second. We're using our preferred tactic of unexpected thrust. All the field marshals, everyone has unexpected thrust and our main battle tactic is unexpected thrust. So you get that right off the bat with mobile warfare. And it seems to be working out great here. We also have the intel advantage. We have a collab on Germany. And oh, wow, they have enemy air superiority. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Okay, they moved off of that. Let's move this up and... Gosh, we really need to just focus on Berlin. Two fighters in reserve. Looks like our tacks are getting pretty chewed up. It's really concerning, actually. And these guys are deorging over here. So Zhukov actually has the initiative over Guderian in this case, probably helped by the fact that he's level five. And if I could get Blitz Tactic as the preferred tactic on Zhukov, man, we would really be... Not struggling at all. Um, okay, so they're going to have to supply everything through this naval base. If this guy's able to take it out over here. These guys are fully supplied. It's go time, baby. You got to watch these divisions that are not engaged in combat. Because the AI, imp with the AI improvements, they're, they're more wily. They tend to move around a lot and do things that you don't want them to do. You got to stay on top of them. Okay, there we go. And we could continue snaking here. So you can already see that they're filling in over here. Uh, I really want to reduce this pocket. That guy's snaking. We're just moving around. I can move him over there. And then if he makes it to that port, he could get supply that way. I really feel a little uncomfortable here. Let's take this guy out of the battle plan and just have him go like over there. OK, we got Berlin and then these guys are trying to get away. Let's uh, do a we could probably try to take these guys out as well. Encircle them in Dresden. Let's secure this bridgehead over here. That looks key. Perfect. Can move these guys along the river to Dresden as well. He can help out in there. I bet you we don't have air superiority, and sure enough, we don't. Okay. 
So this guy's trying to move out. Don't let him move out. Let's re-engage there. And all this microing is really important. The Italians, <laughs> what the heck? The Italians are like hanging on to this port for dear life. Uh, <laughs> what are we going to do, boys? I guess we'll try to attack him. Wow, that de quickly. That was not an advised attack. Uh, backtrack, maybe take some more territory. Just try to squeeze him a little bit. Okay, so the AI is filling in very well there. I'm feeling the fact that I don't have my railgun, but it's okay. He can't move into Berlin yet. I do have the Berlin airport. You can see why it's so important to move slowly. There's other th a lot of things to consider. Okay, move that down. Let's look at the Intel Agency stuff. Okay, that's 105 days. I don't have to worry about Intel Agency for a while. Oh, but we do have to worry about stability. Is there anything we could do here? Not really. Oh, victory is at hand. Division speed, 10%. Division attack, 5%. Yeah, I'll gladly take that. Division attack of 5% is going to be amazing. Ugh, this tank is not going to do too well here. Let's get right back in there. The Italian infantry is doing quite well. And they're rolling us up over there. Wow, so maybe I should have put my subs back up because the Italians got there just in the nick of time. Wow, and well placed by the AI. So I don't like the fact that they're trying to rebalance over here. Um, maybe they can try to pin while we keep moving up. If we take that airport, maybe we get some air superiority. I feel like taking the airports is so important. Gosh, what was that sound? That didn't sound good. Whatever it was. Let's have him cross. Have him move up. Just keep these guys pinned every which way we can and try to get some encirclements can you move up sir nice maybe that means that the rail gauges were increased I'm gonna move him back around and as soon as he starts to move you saw the bonus it's taken off over there the one thing that we don't want is that this pocket you know gets eliminated so we really need to watch what's happening on this side. As a matter of fact, let's try reinforcing it. That's probably what we need to do and not worry about this so much. This snake over here. We're working with six tanks here, so. And they're having low supply right there. It's good to see. I want to make sure that we keep on harassing the front here. That we're continuously pinning the German reinforcements along the front. Is this a different air zone? This is. But not this. Hmm. God, my nav bombers doesn't look like they got any of the Italian um, 
reinforcements over there. Still pushing into Austria. Good to see. Is this an encirclement? Okay, let's move that up a little bit and keep on hammering. Let's go this way. See if we can get an encirclement, like any little encirclement would be much appreciated. Like, they're connected right here, aren't they? What? Is there like a little province in between there? Like, I can't tell. Yeah, there is. Okay. Um, well, let's try... Wow! Okay, we got four divisions right there. Perfect. Let's try to open this up a bit. It all seemed to happen when we got our railgun into range. So let's make sure this railgun just stays over this province that's encircled. And things can change very quickly. If you run out of guns in your stockpile, for instance, you're going to start feeling it. Or if you're not making, uh, like, well-placed attacks. Let's check out the stockpile here. Okay, so we're negative seven on tanks. Let's make sure we're not negative on tanks. And then our field marshal got an upgrade. To Kachevsky. Let's go, Logi Wizard. And this guy's just bawling, so he could have infantry expert, but we don't have infantry divisions. We could go Ambusher, max entrenchment plus five. And we're going to lose this guy. It hurts. There, he gets unexpected thrust. And almost to the point where we can get blitz on the man, the myth, the legend, Zhukov. Oh, this is really desperate for them in here. They just lost another tank division. See if I can position these guys a little better. And then... <laughs> Let's put out the convoy rating here and just pray that the Kriegsmarine doesn't come out. Maybe we can get a few uh, easy pickoffs. We'll see. And it's taking a while to reduce that pocket. They're attacking all along the front here. They do not like that railgun support, that's for sure. Boom, got the last one. All right, let's roll them up here and take the ports. Don't really have to do anything in the south. That's taking care of itself. Let's just keep this how it is. I think it's fine. Just real surprising how we're overwhelming them here. We could get this port and this port. That's another encirclement. That's going to be huge. Taking out the Italians would be amazing. So we will have to go down the boot. Uh, no funny business down there in the Balkans. Oh, they came out over there. Convoy raiding. Oh, I have them at do not engage. 
Let's engage at medium. See if we can capture some of those divisions that are trying to escape. Okay, got some war support there. We're about to get our stability back up. Nice. Oh man, if I do this, I don't want to do that in the middle of the war. What else, what other options do we have here? Get political power there, common turn. Is there any stability? I need stability. Every hit hits the factory output, dockyard output. That would be nice. Oh, supply consumption, negative 10%. Why do we do that in winter? Oil for the motherland. We're good on oil. Consumer goods factories would be nice. Division recovery rate, 7%. That could help quite a bit. So if you can time those at the crucial moment, uh, you're going to do really well. Uh, where's stability? Root out resistance, damage to garrisons, negative 5%. That could help. I don't, I only want to do 35-day uh, focuses just in case I have to jump down to the military conspiracy. Political stuff is looking okay. Okay, that could include improve population factor production efficiency cap a hey. okay we could do the five-year plan gives us two civilian factories I guess we'll do that and hope for the best. That's where this side of the focus tree on the far left is where we get our research slots. So that gains us a research slot. And I don't know where the other research slot is. Do we only have four research slots on the Soviet Union? That would suck. I think that's what that means. Nope. There's another one right there. So you'd have to snake down here. Oh boy. Okay, looks like the generals are upgraded. What are the spies doing? We just gotta worry about the spies. Cryptology is almost done. Okay, let's bring it let's bring this home in. Let's bring this attack in here, boys. Could be an encirclement over here. I see him leaving over there. I like the fact that they're shuffling, but I don't like the fact that I'm not killing the divisions. They lose this port. They're going to be in a real bad supply issue. They're going to have a lot of supply problems. Oh, encirclement city. Jump ahead, brothers. Vanilla air, I like it. And the Italians are just like, we're out of here. We're bailing. They still have another port, surprisingly enough. Get into there, boys. And supply issues over here. So now this is one of those issues where it's like we're in this middle ground, right? Where we've got this pocket behind us that we have to worry about. And it's super annoying. Get in Magdeburg. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six. Count all the tanks. Gotta know where your tanks are at all times. Ugh. 
Okay, lost three subs. Got that cipher on France. Now the UK. Okay, get in there, boys. Are these guys repairing or something? Don't repair, brothers. Never repair. Ever. How dare you? Why isn't this on? Convoy rating. Go. Yeah. I guess no one else is going to come out around here. Oh, look at these guys. Okay, upgrade those rail gauges, baby. Let's just crush here. Look at this. Eleven. Scary thing to me is that all this stuff is in the back country. Like, I need this stuff on the front lines. I need this, like, pocket collapsed so that we can focus moving forward. And I mean, this guy right here has got to be the all-star. Besides Rokosovsky, I would say that Konev is probably the second ranked military staff guy. As you can see, we have a lot of bonuses to air superiority that's not helping that much. Fighter escorts. Don't know if that's going to help air superiority that much. Weimar. That's right, boys. Collapse it. Just crush it in, baby. Probably don't need the tank and the forest there. Not the right combat width for that anyway. Oh, can you move up for me, brother? So we're just going to continue to take out these supply hubs. Move along the railways. That's what I've been doing. Seems to work out fine. They're beating us back in Austria. No big deal. Oh, yeah, we get this juicy airport. Get in there, baby. Did they make it across? God, where are they coming from now? Is there another airport? Got him. Okay. Now we're really going to turn on here. Zhukov is going to get Blitz Tactic. Bam. I'm super excited now, guys. Just take the easy fight right there. Oh, we got an encirclement. Keep the fight up, boys. Let's see what their stability is. Probably help my stability if this offensive war would end. Their stability is 60%, so we're going to have to take Hamburg and then wherever else the new capital spawns. Let's see if this will even work. No. They're sitting there waiting for me. I'm not going to move that guy up. Maybe move this guy to Bremen and take the right side of that river. I think it's time to move up that guy, the railgun. Let's find better attacks for our tanks. It's not going to cities with the tanks. 
Oh no, we have an infantry equipment deficit. Supply seems to be fine, so I'm thinking about using that supply event and decision. If I see supply turn south, but we seem to be okay right now. Uh, my subs are okay. Now we got red air everywhere. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's moving across. The Italians, the pesky Italians are going to stop us. Um, Air accident chance 25%. Air wing mission. Okay, and air experience gain goes down. Okay, we'll take it. We don't need the purge to happen yet. We'll take it. And we'll just drive straight into Hamburg here. Looks great. Ah, oh, Zhukov's wounded. Okay, Rakasovsky gets another upgrade. Let's go improv expert. We don't have enough command power to use that yet. I lied, now we do. So he'll do his makeshift bridges. Okay, so those guys probably just jumped from there to there. It didn't look like my subs did anything. We got Hamburg. Let's see how the light tanks are holding up against the mediums here armor is four hardness is 26 their hardness is only 26 my hardness is more than theirs that's they must be uh low on tanks and we're piercing this division can pierce one of one armored they're piercing each other okay perfect soft attack key oh who is uh on top of that Konev, baby. How about over here? Zhukov. Nope, Rommel's got the upper hand there. And we're doing attack as our attack. An unexpected thrust. I like how they changed the battle plan system. Makes sense. Get a preferred battle plan. I love it. Uh oh, these guys are getting beaten back because tanks are not good on the defensive, apparently. Okay, three more divisions down. Come on, boys. Let's get everyone in there. I just can't cross that river right there. It's not a good attack. They're almost deorged, though. I mean, like, why can't we just shove in here? Um, let's maneuver these guys like around this way. Get a better attack vector. I don't even know if that's the right lingo. Attack vector. I'm just making stuff up now. Okay, the planes are over there. Yikes. Are we having supply issues? Does not look like it. Okay. Micro the construction queue. How do... Oh. We're getting supplies from somewhere and they're picking it off. Let's adjust the trade then.
Man, I, I'm glad I caught that because that can affect your stability, I believe. Or your war support, I forget. Okay, they're almost deorged. I don't know what's going on here. Just give him the final push there. Ace. Man, they really do not want to give that up, even though they're almost deorged. Let's see, where did their. Oh, we got to go to Stuttgart. said we weren't going to attack in cities but it's tank v tank so maybe that'll work out i'm not sure and then these guys are trying to move on me i don't think so boys i don't think so not today and if you could if you're good at micro and you could just keep these attacks going like that's where it is oh that reminds me what are the operatives doing I wonder if we can turn... Oh. 40 infantry equipment, I'll take it. Okay, so I take Wilhelm's Haven. They don't have any supply in this pocket. Yes, sir. That speed military staffer was key. Bremen's gotta have... They have dockyards, but they don't have... Yeah, there's only Wesserems, right? There's Wesserems in Hanover. There should be nothing in here. I think they're getting supply from Bremen. Okay, they, they have no more supply. These guys are screwed. Work our way up here carefully. Nice. We got more encirclements. Let's take this pocket out real quick. It's just... Wow, did he get beaten off there, huh? Okay, is the air following my armored spearhead? Is it the question? Kind of. Uh, we got an airport over here. We could take 600. Wow. And let's get across there. Okay, having supply issues over there. So let's take that decision. Doesn't look like we could take the decision yet. Political paranoia is getting pretty bad. Almost have green air, baby. Okay, the supply planes are down there. I think once we take Frankfurt, this all goes red. It looks like some of them are already red. Ah. How dare you attack my tanks. They're not able to withstand your infantry equipment attacks. It's impossible. Oh, we can take back Luxembourg. 
our allies, Luxembourg. We will liberate you, my friends. Oh, I'm not microing well enough. There we go, boys. And let me tell you, this is not very easy. I just got an achievement. I have no idea what the achievement was. We don't really like statistics as the Soviet Union under Stalin conquered Germany while suffering less than 1 million casualties total. We don't really like statistics. Wow, got an achievement on one of my videos. It's a first, boys. Look at all this juicy equipment. Jeez. Almost 30,000 in infantry equipment. What do we got over here? You get you give me some medium tanks? Panzer 1s. We got 96 Panzer 1s. 10 Panzer 2s. I thought they had mediums. See, the, the production cost of the mediums too high, boys. Lights is where it's at if you're an SP. That's 100% accurate nowadays. The, the rise of the light tank meta. Just don't, don't bring them to multiplayer. I guess you could micro like one or two divisions, but don't bring them to multiplayer, boys. Okay, <laughs> that's going to end it there. Is the war over? War oh, we have to take out Italy. Okay, next time in... This playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4, No Step Back DLC, OP Soviet Union. We will be taking out Italy, Italy, Italy. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. I'm having a lot of fun, guys, as you can tell. I'll see you on the next one.